that's the Hellcat bumper from Vice Res on my 2016 Scat Pack. Just wanted to do a short video on it and show you guys what it looks like because when I was doing my research for it, I could not find like just some average dude like myself who had put one on the same car I had. So uh, I'm doing it today and it looks really good. It fit on there nice. I mean, I didn't put it on, but they told me at the shop that everything went smooth. I got it painted in Scottsdale. Um, the cost, it was a lot. It was a lot to you know buy this bumper, so be prepared to also pay the painting fees. And you wanna bring it to a good shop that can actually match that color to the hood, because this B5, it's not hard to match. I mean, it is hard to match, excuse me, but that's it. It was my first time buying from Vice Res, that company. They uh, took forever to ship it. I think I ordered it back in February and um, it, it was back ordered. Even though when I ordered it, it said it was available. So I had to wait for them to fill that and then to ship it again. I think I got it around midsummer. So it took a long time to get here. There was a little bit of a gap in here when I installed it but there's these clamps inside the hood where you can uh, lower them on each side to kind of get it to like, to get the hood to sit on there properly. And as you can tell, it's not perfect. There's a slight dip right here, um, but I mean, you, you can't notice it. Like it, it, you have to be looking very carefully. And you can see the trim lines up very nicely. It looks really good. It came with this lip. Uh, one thing I will say about it is if you've got emblems on your old Challenger, they won't fit. It's too big, this new bumper, so I think you'd have to order the wide body emblems. And then down here you can see it's painted. I wish these were painted black so you wouldn't be able to see it, but you know, it's only if you're looking really close at it, but it looks killer. In the back I got Amazon. I Amazon these bottom ones, it only costs about like it was so cheap, maybe like 20 bucks. And I had to take this whole piece off though and, and then drill into it, which was kind of scary, but you know, for 20 bucks, it, it's uh, totally worth it. And I got these Trackhawk exhaust tips on it. Look at that. Starter up. sounded great but it's it's too raspy when you really get on it there's no tone it's just kind of like ah doesn't sound good as the replacement for these Dynamax race bullets because you'll get on it and it just sounds mean and that was only 40 bucks on Amazon I'll leave a link in the description as well and then back over to the front I mean it just looks killer bro look at that so yeah, Vice Res front bumper for the Challenger. Okay, now jumping into the car, um, I got these installed on Amazon for also 20 bucks, I think. Not the biggest fan of them. I thought I'd like them more, but the silver, man, it's like, it doesn't blend well with the blue. I think if I blacked this out and then maybe got silver ones, it would look a little better. Two tickets and two weeks. That's ridiculous. That's why I got that thing. But look at that embroidered beautiful 
All right, so if you're whipping a car like this, you gotta have a radar detector. I'm telling you, it will save you so much money um, and just un unwanted police attention. It's great. For the price range, you know, it is a little expensive, but when we're talking about radar detectors, it's a pretty good deal, especially with all the features you get. I've had a few beforehand that were like $100 or so, and you know, they're just not as good. They give you false alarms. They don't have GPS and just kind of lame, but this one's got everything, man. Highway, city, auto. It doesn't have an app like some of the other ones do, but you don't really need it. I mean, if you're just wanting to drive around and be alerted to cops every once in a while, it's perfect for you. Very little um, interference from like stores and whatnot compared to other ones I've owned. And yeah, highly recommend. All right, just wanna do a small clip of me really getting on the gas here so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, I knocked the phone out of my hand. Let me do that again.